Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. Today's another um, cozy vlog, getting things done around the house vlog. So we're back in my like office slash craft room and I've changed all the furniture around since we last, um, since I last showed you it. I'm loving it so far. Um, it's just like more open now, so I think it was the right um, thing to do. I still have a bunch of stuff to do though in here, but... On this day, I decided to clean out my closet, which I was very excited to do, but you can see how now it's all like open in the middle. I'm liking it a lot better. So it was kind of a cloudy, rainy day outside. It felt like the perfect day to just clean out my closet. So that's what I decided to do. I was home alone um, during this like week period where I was doing all this and while I'm, um, see, I have a bunch of stuff in this corner that's like for Etsy, but while I'm cleaning out the closet, I decided to watch Grey Gardens, which is one of my comfort movies. I swear I've seen it so, so many times. I never get sick of it. Um, like since 2020, I've probably watched it at least 50 times and that's not even an exaggeration. That might be like under, um, estimating how many times but I don't care I love it I think it's like the greatest documentary ever made I would highly recommend it um but if you're not like prepared for what it's about you might think it's like very weird so I don't know I feel like there's probably two camps people that love it and people that find it weird or hate it but I'm in the camp that loves it so anyway that's what I was doing while I was cleaning out the closet I can probably recite every single word of it so I don't really need to pay attention it's just like background noise that's comforting I guess and uh, Marley was up here in the room with me she looked like she was ready to just pass out and face plant into the blanket it was so cute but I don't know she's so cute I also decided to light a candle as well because I felt like it was the perfect day for that. Um, I just got these little mini candles. I don't know where I got them, but this one smells really good. But in the background there, I've got this pumpkin candle, which is my favorite candle ever. It was from my grocery store a couple of years ago, and I stocked up on a whole bunch of them. And I don't know if they had it last year or not because I still had some left but this is the very last bit of um the candle I was looking at it to see if there was enough there to burn and I decided to just that if the, if it would light I would just burn the rest of it I'm really really hoping that they do have this same scent I think it's a caramel pumpkin cheesecake it is so so good I was so happy um that there was enough wick there to light but I ended up moving the bookshelf into the closet. I'd had it in there before, so I ended up getting rid of a ton of stuff too, which I'm happy about. It filled like two um, blue bags filled with clothing, um, but the I really like the bookshelf in there. I kind of had to move it in there with the way that I changed the room around. It just, there wasn't really enough room, but I ended up getting rid of my robe because if you don't know, we thrift clothing to resell, and I found this Barefoot Dreams robe, which I recognize the name from, like, blankets, and I said to John, oh, I'm pretty sure these blankets are really popular. We should get this, so he was like, yeah, sure, but then I tried it on while we got home, and um, it's just so comfortable. Now, I would not pay what they charge for them, but... I think it probably would have only been like eight dollars and i think i looked it up on amazon and it was like 140 or 160 so it's insane for a robe but i had some lunch after that and then i decided to show you i got out my like fall clothing and stuff and i found all of these uh t-shirts that i've been thrifting over probably the past year or so um for fall so i had forgot that i even had all of these I got this cute pumpkin sweater and then this sweater that says eat drink and be merry no it's eat drink and be scary <laughs> i was thinking christmas anyway i've had the the black sweater for a few years but um the other ones are new like within the last year so then um earlier in the day we had got this big order of supplies for our reselling business we needed some bubble wrap and anyway 
the order showed up on a pallet <laughs> and it was raining, which really sucked because I had to run outside before because it's all boxes. So I had to run outside and cut open the pallet and like get everything in the house while it was pouring rain. Um, but so I had just thrown everything in this room for the time being because I really wanted to clean up my closet because I was in the mood to do that so they did give us some free gifts though these like little lanterns lantern slash flashlights um I didn't have batteries in them but once I put batteries in them they are actually really bright so they will be handy when the power goes out John was coming home I think the next day to ship orders so I was just trying to get things organized a little bit in um the room before he came back and then um I guess I'm just showing you this but <laughs> the previous time John had come home he had bought me this life or yeah this life magazine I have a bunch already um from the 50s but this one's actually from the 30s but I was super excited because not only does it have Betty on the cover but it also is a December one so I started to look in it i love looking at the christmas ads i have a couple of other ones from the 50s with um i think that are from december at least one for sure i did like do a flip through of one of these magazines but it didn't really perform that well so i was like okay maybe i won't do that um but maybe i could just show some of the ads in some of these in december i don't know but I thought these trays were really interesting with the toasters on them. I never thought about doing that before, but it makes a lot of sense. I have like a a tray like this that I think a toaster probably went on or was intended to go on, but I'd never seen it before. Marley was just chilling here, just, uh, and she was really missing John when he first left. I feel so bad for her. So after I hung out with her for a little bit, I was getting um, the clothing organized that we still had to photograph um, before John came home. So this, uh, we had found this Nightmare Before Christmas light up sweater a few, um, like a week or two before. Um, so I wanted to see if it worked and it did. Um, I think it's cute, but we, I had another sweater that I had thrifted that I was gonna keep, but the wires in the sweater, I find really annoying because <laughs> you can really feel them, so. Otherwise, if I liked it, I probably would have kept that nightmare one. And then I had found these two mod cloth sweaters that I was um, I was thinking about keeping for myself. So the one is like kind of like a fair isle print, but it had like unicorns on it. And then this was like a cardigan. It was a, a little bit big, but I thought it would be like cozy with uh, squirrels on it. But I ended up trying them on it and I didn't like either one of them. So I'm just going to sell those. But then there was a bunch of bags um, there. So I ended up getting it out and sorting it all out into piles so that it would be ready to photograph when John got home. And here's just an adorable shot of Marley sleeping. She's so little and cute. I can't get enough of her. So one of the main reasons I was really excited about getting that order from um, like the shipping supplies is because I wanted to take this closet that is in our bedroom and this is where I have a bunch of things that I have for sale on Etsy. And I wanted to get all of this stuff out of here because we have storage units now um, to hold inventory. So I wanted to make it like a linen closet. So I brought up bubble wrap and I brought up a bunch of these banker boxes to, um, you know, my intent is to bubble wrap everything and put it in the boxes. So I was excited to work on this on this day. And I think by the end of the video, uh, I end up showing you what the whole closet ended up turning out like, because I think we finished it. On this day, I was feeling particularly tired, and recently we've had energy drinks after like not having them for a really long time, and that uh, mango one is so good. So it definitely helps sometimes. <laughs> also, these things of bubble wrap are so big. I've been pulling off of this like for days and days and days and it's still massive 
So after I worked on that a little bit in the morning, um, then I was going to make some spaghetti and meatballs. So I was making homemade sauce. So, well, I don't know. Is it homemade if you use, I'm using canned like crushed tomatoes. So maybe it's not fully homemade. Anyway, I got that started and then I wanted to use up all the like random things in my fridge. So I made some salads, kind of like chef salad vibes because I had a little bit of vegan turkey, like deli meat in there and some cheese. So cut that up. And then I also cut up a bunch of vegetables for just like raw vegetables and dip. And um, they finally had carrot chips back in my store after like, I swear, years of them not being available. But I just made a little like ranch veggie dip with some sour cream and yogurt. And it was so good. This is one of my favorite snacks. John was coming the next day, so I asked him if he would bring me a green pepper. So I left a, a spot empty for green pepper. It's one of my favorite uh, vegetables to eat raw. So while my sauce was simmering and after I got my vegetables done, I got started on the meatballs. So I'm just using this um, Beyond Ground. It's pretty similar to ground beef. It makes really good meatballs. So um, I don't do anything like too elaborate. Just kind of add a few seasonings in. and I don't even bother adding breadcrumbs most of the time, but I like to bake them in the oven as well. I find they turn out um, really good that way. So those didn't take me long to make, put, put those in the oven, and then I added them to the sauce later. But I was making a really big batch of sauce so that I could freeze some just to have like ready for the future. So this is what they look like. Quite tasty. And while they were cooking in the oven, I, they only took around 20 minutes. I got the whole kitchen cleaned up and got all of the dishes done, which felt really great to have all of that done. I was making this for the next day, but I definitely ate one for quality control reasons. So I had, this was on a Friday, so I had saved all of the General Hospital episodes for the week for this day because I had something that I had to do that I really didn't want to do that I've been avoiding doing and just putting it off for honestly probably a month or two and that is painting the freaking French doors. <laughs> I regret wanting to paint them, but they were looking super dingy, like no matter what I clean them with or how I clean them, they just had this dingy look to them and it was driving me nuts. And I had painted the trim so the trim was like a bright white color, so they looked even dingier, but painting, like taping off these windows was so tedious that I got half of it done and I think I just left um left it for like over a month but we're having company coming and I wanted to get all of these random projects finished before we had company not that they would care at all but I would care <laughs> I, I like it when the house looks put together and not a complete disaster so I thought I'm gonna save all those episodes I'll put that on and while I'm kind of half watching I can finish taping so I got all the taping done it actually it went by fairly decent just like I said I was just kind of watching the tv at the same time so then I cleaned the doors you know to make sure there was no dust or anything on there before I got started painting so thankfully they're done <laughs> it is not my best painting job but um it's done so I don't know this is probably an unpopular opinion but I actually don't like the French doors at all I want to get them taken out and like the wall put back up because it, it's originally um wasn't there so anyway I got that done felt great I also have just another random thing uh the shelf was hanging in my kitchen but I've been changing my kitchen around and doing a little makeover in there so I uh, thought that this might work out in our entryway, so I wanted to see if it would fit kind of next to the door there. It fit great. I think it works there too, and it's kind of nice because you, then you can hang your keys up when you come in right next to the door. So my sauce finished up and I was able to get two big containers of sauce for uh, the freezer for a, a later date. It's always nice to have it ready. And then I just put the meatballs in the remainder of the sauce that I felt like would be enough for myself and for John. I was cooking up uh, some spaghetti. I We just use gluten-free spaghetti or well, we just use gluten-free pasta in general. John's not gluten-free, but he doesn't mind eating the gluten-free pasta. So, um, 
I've, I'm just cooking some, but I'm also filling up my container. So I made one for John and for myself and John was coming home tomorrow. So I was going to give his to him then. Um, but then, um, uh, so it was like later in the evening. So we just decided to watch some Lost together. It's the show we're been watching and while I was watching Lost I decided to take these drawers out and organize them oh Halloween <laughs> I'd actually been looking for that I would say these are kind of the equivalent of like the junk drawer we don't have one in our kitchen so it's just on the record stand so I was able to get those kind of organized a little bit better and sort it through we just been like throwing things in there for uh, far too long apparently so it feels better having it all um, sorted out and like you know where everything is and all that and once I got the drawers done I decided all throughout the summer all the records I've been buying I haven't been like putting them away I've just been stacking them on top <laughs> but it was driving me nuts so it feels really good to get those all sorted because I kind of sort them by like genre and then here's the final shot of um, the evening with the doors painted I hadn't finished pulling the tape off because I was really tired so I was just gonna go to bed but not my best job painting like if you get up close you can kind of see it's not the greatest but it's fine <laughs> so then it is the next day so John was on his way so I decided to make him a little breakfast sandwich with this just egg and some plant-based sausage and some cheese and then I also made a hash brown he was driving for like an hour and a half to get home so it turned out to be a beautiful day which it was supposed to rain and so he came home and we did some things um and then he had to go back to where he was so the reason that we're having the spaghetti today is because it was my mom's birthday and that was my mom's favorite food so every year since she passed on her birthday we usually have spaghetti and meatballs but since John wasn't going to be home I decided to make it the day before so we could have it um on her actual birthday kind of together but apart <laughs> so <laughs> this is something that my dad actually used to do all the time but he would take leftover spaghetti and fry it in a pan with butter which kind of sounds weird but I don't know it's so good to me and I guess it's like comforting as well because um I used to eat it when I was a kid so I got that frying I didn't end up using all that butter that I showed either I realized it was too much but we also had a little bit of vegan parm um, in leftover from something else in the fridge that I wanted to use. And I'm also putting some blue cheese on it, which might sound weird as well, but we really love blue cheese stuffed meatballs, but I didn't feel like making stuffed meatballs this time. So I just put a little bit of blue cheese crumbled on top, but I really like it when the spaghetti almost starts to burn. It gets like a little bit crispy and I don't know. But I also realized that it was too much spaghetti for me to eat, so I saved some for the next day. But this smelled so good when I was making it. I was so hungry. And um, just while I was eating, because I was alone, I decided to watch the movie Sister Act, because my mom really loved that movie. Um, and I hadn't seen it for a long time, so I thought, well, let me just watch this while I was eating my spaghetti. Marley was chilling with me. And actually, this was like in the afternoon. I don't know if it's like because I was feeling sad or I ate like all that pasta. I don't know. But I ended up just passing out in like the middle of the day, which never happens. And it usually makes me feel kind of sick and like I can get a headache. Luckily, I didn't get a headache, but I woke up later. and <laughs> was like, that was really weird. But we ended up just watching some Lost together. And I had a bunch of laundry that I've been doing all throughout the day. So I just folded all of my laundry while I was watching that with John. I washed all of my like cleaning cloths and all my reusable napkins. So I think I had done like four or five loads of laundry that day. So folding laundry at the end of the day is always like so relaxing, I find. Marley was like, Mom, I think it's right time for bed. <laughs> Either that or she was wanting more food before bed. <laughs> so maybe a combination of both. But the sleep thing kind of screwed me up. But I woke up the next morning and it was another beautiful day, which I was so happy for because it's been raining so much. So I decided I wanted to work on my little linen closet project and I decided to change the sheets on the bed and wash them because I could hang them out on the line. Um... We don't really use our dryer that much, so it's nice to, um, it's harder to dry sheets inside because they're so big. <laughs> so it's nice when it's um, nice outside. And 
I think I might have mentioned this in another video or maybe earlier in this video, but for some reason, I think every cat I've had just loves when the sheets are not on the bed. Anyway, um, so I was sorting through all the sheets that we did have, um, and I forgot that I would thrifted these uh, like Charlie Brown Peanuts Christmas sheets, and I got really excited because I can't wait to use them on our bed. Marley was. I thought maybe Jimmy was down there. Sometimes they just stare at each other through the window. Um, Marley doesn't like Jimmy, but <laughs> Jimmy really likes Marley. I think he wants to be her friend. But uh, she, when they're closer together, she actually hisses at him a lot. So, but I didn't see him down there. But I think she sits in the window to like look for him. Um, so I was able to successfully um, pack up like most of what was in here in terms of reselling stuff I have uh some stuff down on the bottom shelf there that I still have to photograph and like figure out what I'm doing with it but then we've got some like extra comforters and everything and the main reason why I just want to get this nice and organized is so that I can have all of our extra linens and blankets and everything just in one spot nice and organized i got some extra pillows in here for when we have company and i don't know i was looking forward to just having this be nice and organized so i already had these fabric um, bins for years so instead of like buying anything new to do this i just thought i would use um things that i already had in the house and then i have these smaller um brown ones so the brown and gray don't really match but whatever I'm like I don't really want to buy anything else when we have things that we can use so I think that the smaller ones will fit perfectly on the very top shelf because the top shelf has that slant from the roof peak so those seem to fit in there perfect so I thought okay that's really good I also want to have a bin with like travel things in it just so that's all in one spot um and I'm hoping that I can put our luggage and stuff on the very bottom of the closet like on the floor I do have a couple of boxes in there with like memorabilia type stuff in it I think so and then I knew that I had these in here but <laughs> This is like my mom's ashes, but I'd forgot that I had uh, things from my cat who passed away in there and it, they've just been in there for like two years, I guess, the very back. And so this was Marley's sister, Dylan. So we have our ashes here in our bedroom and a picture of her. She actually passed away like right before we moved in. It was just such a sad time. So I was thinking about maybe going through this stuff and getting rid of some of it because I, I don't know, I saved one of her like her um, toy mouse that she used to play with and I have that on the shelf with her ashes. But then I just got really emotional and I was like, okay, not today, <laughs> not today. So I just tucked that stuff back in the back of the closet. I don't really know like what to do with my mom's ashes. It's been like a weird thing that I've just had them I I don't know what to do I'm thinking like I should scatter them somewhere but I don't know where I just I have a very like I have a like a I'm not religious so I don't have like a religious view of the afterlife and things like that so um it's just different I guess when you don't have that so I've just been like I don't know <laughs> it's hard to explain I guess without coming across in maybe an offensive way to some people so maybe I should just stop talking about it but hopefully someday soon I'll figure out what to do with them so I ended up moving things around a bunch of times trying to figure out the best way to set things up I have four of the gray bins that are bigger um and then, but I kind of thought, okay, well, if I want to put the pillows on a shelf, then I won't have enough room to use all the bins. So then I thought, well, maybe I could use these smaller brown ones. Um, they actually fit like in our nightstands in the bottom part. So I thought, oh, this might actually be like a good place for me to put my magazines because I usually read magazines before bed. Um, so I was thinking that might be nice and I just have a bunch of books that I want to read soon under there and one fits on John's side too so um I just left those there 
uh, and just kind of reconfigured the closet part. So in one of the bins, I put um, like packing cubes. Uh, so I got those all together in one and then I thought I would put, um, you know, like toiletry bags and stuff for traveling. So it's all in the same place. I kind of like them in these bins because then when you're packing, you can just take the whole bin out, set it down. So then in um, another bin, I put, I went through like all the sheets we had. So um, the sheets in here are for, I'm saving them for like camping. They're like an older set of sheets that we don't really use anymore. I was going to donate them, but I thought, well, we could just keep them for camping using on our air mattress not that we've been camping for a while but <laughs> eventually we'll go camping again so and then I just put some um, towels in there like vintage towels that I am saving for when I redo the bathroom and then in the other one I just put the sheets that we use all the time or sheets that we would use so I've got like two sets and then I put the Christmas ones in there and then I do have this vintage sheet that's actually the queen size for our bed and a pillowcase so I put that in there. I'm gonna put the flamingo sheets on the bed and see if I like them or not. I rarely ever use them and I think it's because I don't like them so we'll see for this time. And then I have another set that's obviously in the washer going to hang on the line. So then I put another the other bin for like travel things for John and then I put the pillows up on the top next to the one brown bin so I don't know in the brown bin I thought I could just put um, travel related things like I have some packs of those you know little mini packs of tissues in there right now but I have other stuff around the house that I could collect and put in there so uh, getting the bed made I did actually notice that the flamingo sheets were a little bit ripped on the corner so it's probably why I haven't been using them but I don't know I think I might just sew them and keep them so anyway I guess I'm showing you <laughs> this is like Marley's little like it's like a little cat house that's shaped like a vintage tv but she doesn't actually get inside it but she uses it as like a step to to get up so I ended up changing it around even further I did move the pillows down to this kind of like half shelf and then the comforter is a comforter we use in the basement on our pull-out couch it's like a different size and then these are the sheets we use for that too it's a different size than our bed so I put those in with the camping sheets um, but the comforter was able to fold up and like stuff down next to the pillows so it's nice and then I just have the one brown bin but then I remembered that I had picked up this cleaning um, little caddy and I wanted to keep that in this closet I just had forgot about it because it was in my office for a long time so I put that up there and then there's just space for something else I just have to um, get this um, I used like alien tape to put this up here when it, it was my office so I think I'm gonna have to take a hair dryer or something to like soften it to get it off but Marley was sleeping through the, the whole thing over here in my office she loves this pink blanket it's so cute um, but I'm super happy that closet was driving me crazy because it was just so full with stuff and I don't know I just I like it when everything has a place and everything is nice and organized it just makes you feel good it's always nice too when you can do like a smaller project then it's like you see the immediate results and it gives you I don't know a little bit of a boost it was such a beautiful day out so I just had the sheets out I went out to check on them and Jimmy uh spotted me outside so he came running over and it was really funny I was petting him and then I thought well let me go in the house and get um fill up this little dish with water that I keep outside but he just started drinking the rainwater out of this container so I was like okay I guess uh he was drinking a lot of it too so I was like okay I guess I guess you're fine with that so I just watched him for a little bit and then he was over there having a little bath. So cute. So then I had some lunch, had one of those salads that I prepped, which is so great because I was working on that thing from the time I got up until it was time to eat so I felt really good about getting all that done though so then I went back into my office to work on 
the stuff that I have in there that I need to photograph that first before I can pack it up. So I usually wait until it's a nice day to photograph because then I have natural light coming in that's bright. But I do also have these like mini ring lights that you can put over your phone that definitely help. But it's been really gloomy here a lot <laughs> and cloudy. So not ideal for photographing, but I love these martini glasses. I'm going to list some of those I have a lot of them um, but this kind of I have everything in kind of in the corner that needs to be photographed and then I'm just kind of packing it up and then that way it can go down to the storage unit and I don't just have a ton of shit everywhere <laughs> but while I was doing that I like to watch like I'll put something on the tv um, so finally after I don't know how many years I'm finally finishing I Dream of Jeannie I only had I think six episodes left so I watched those while I was doing that and I'm um, sad it's over but I do I haven't watched either of the movies yet I was gonna put one on that day but I didn't um, end up doing it so there was I think a movie that was made in the 80s and one in the 90s so I'm gonna watch those they're probably super cheesy but um, I don't know <laughs> I, I kind of love a reunion movie even if it's super cheesy I don't know why I just I love it like if you've ever seen like the Brady Bunch Christmas movie it's so cheesy but like it gives me all the feels <laughs> so I usually watch it every year but it is very like cheesy and corny and I don't know it's not great at all but it's also like amazing <laughs> for what it is so anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this kind of cozy little vlog um I have like I'm spending a lot of time at home getting a lot of things done versus out thrifting so I feel like I have a lot more of this kind of things to share than thrift videos, but I'm hoping to get out thrifting um, soon. So hopefully there will be some videos in September, but we're just really busy for the next couple of months. So I don't know how many thrifting videos I'll be able to put up in the next couple of months, but I really, really want to put a whole bunch up in like November and December during the holiday season. Um, I really want to try to go to as many like antique stores and thrift stores I can go to during Christmas, just because I think it's so fun when you can look at like vintage Christmas things. It's just, uh, it's the best time to thrift. So anyway, hopefully you can like stick with me for a little while if you're missing the thrift videos, because I'm hoping to put a ton up during those two months. So anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you again soon.